Hey everyone, Tommy here, coming to you from Buffalo, New York. There are so many interesting things about Buffalo. Of course, I can forget about Buffalo Wings, which I have been enjoying some. And But one of the things caught my attention that in 1896, Buffalo hosted the very first turkey trot. It's a race that is done on Thanksgiving weekend. And I couldn't believe it started in 1896 because it is still are being hosted nationwide. Personally, myself, as a former trail runner, I have done three 15K kilometer turkey trots. And we used to call it Topanga Turkey Trot in Los Angeles, where I'm from. They used to do, um, they still do 5K, 10K, and 15K. So I've done three 15K Turkey Trots, which it was so much fun on Thanksgiving weekend. So I thought today I will share three tips with you. If you're a runner, this would be a beneficial tips for you to staying healthy and pain free before an, um, especially after your race. So the first most important thing is having the right shoes to run. I was a barefoot runner. My favorite shoes and most of my trail races I have run with Vibram five toe shoes, trail runners. Now, if you're not used to it, it takes a while to get used to running with minimalist barefoot shoes, especially with five toe uh, Vibram shoes. But my other favorite uh, trail runners were Brooks. They were amazing. I think I started with that at the beginning and then slowly moved on to the barefoot running shoes. Now, the second tip is important to stay hydrated, especially if you're doing longer races like I've done Bulldog um, 25K trail race, the Turkey Trot 15K you know, staying hydrated is extremely important. A lot of runners may use the hydration like salt capsules or they may use electrolytes. Uh, my preferred method was I love using unheated salt like Himalayan pink salt, whatever it is you have unheated, unrefined salt, just to put some in my water or I would just put in a little baggie in my pocket and honestly, I would just leak a little bit of salt and then hydrate myself to get all those minerals to keep me from dehydration, from, you know, getting cramps while you're running. So that was really, it worked for me tremendously. And the third one is very important to warm up and cool down properly before the race and what you do before the race and after the race. I cannot tell you how many times I have seen runners um, start of the race just take off and they're just like almost sprinting. And then, all, you know, just about halfway through the race, you see those same runners just struggling. And a lot of times the no, novice runners when they're just starting to run do those things once you become um, you know more experienced runner you know that you start slow you keep your pace you need you know what your pace was for trail races for me it was between 12 to 13 minute mile that was comfortable for me and I just kept that most of the time, like 13 minute miles when I did the longer races. And that worked for me. So make sure what, the, what you, you're comfortable with and stay with it. And um, doing exercise, like I said, warm up or cool down is extremely important. Now, it's not the same warm up. You, you're not doing the same type of warm up as you do a cool down. For warm up, it's best to use dynamic stretches, which is kind of a short burst stretches. And for cooling down, you use mostly um, 
what's the name i'm forgetting it's um um oh my god static <laughs> so static stretches static stretches when you hold the movement much longer in like same position and you allow your body the muscles and the fascia to stretch that's best for cooling down hopefully these three tips were uh, beneficial for you if you're a runner or thinking about running i would love to get some of your tips in the comments or what are some of your favorite brand of running shoes that you're using i haven't run in a while so there may be some new more interesting shoes out there so i would love to hear from you tonight we have the show in buffalo hope you're joining us otherwise i will see you in the next city in the meantime you stay pain-free <music>